What up guys, Moody here, and today I'm going to give you a scoop on the updated way to put Benny's wheels on your car. Um, getting comments on these videos from methods that are like a year old. I really got to pull the video because you don't understand the concept of updates. Um, I remember back in the day when the save editor itself worked, buddy. Um, <laughs> It's, it's an old video, you know what I mean? Get up to speed, you know what I mean? Do your research. Instead of commenting on things you do not understand. Um, now, to put Benny's wheels on your car, you're going to need the save wizard, obviously. Um, and you're going to need the hazardous save editor. That's your third party. You're going to run that through your save wizard. Well, pretty much just a file, you know what I mean? You don't have to have save wizard open to... Uh, uh, mess with your file once you get it out on your desktop you can just run it in your editor and then open your save wizard after you've edited your save and then import it that way you know what i mean as simple as that just like this okay open my uh save editor here um and my file is right here it is the quad six Now, if you don't have your file saved to your desktop, you're going to have to pull it from your USB every time, which is kind of stupid, so save your file to your desktop. Best way to do it. Um, open your file. Put in my quad six there. Now, nah, we don't need no backup. Oh. Alrighty. Now, what they're doing here is, guys, is you go to your garage. Take a second to load up. A lot of vehicles in there. I was working on the new DLC vehicles, uh, but they haven't been updated in the files. Whenever I uh, transfer them to story mode, they just disappear. So, newer vehicles ain't working yet. Besides, I can't get anybody to come off the SP to MP glitch anyhow. I'm still trying to figure that one out myself. Uh, getting close. Uh, anybody out there has uh, got one, uh, I'll give you five cars. You know what I'm saying? Uh, five cars of your choice. You know what I mean? You scratch my back, I scratch your back. Alrighty. Now, how we're doing this here is, you want to go to impound. You know what I mean? That's how you're going to get it through. And pretty much just pick whatever car you want, guys. You know what I mean? I mean, if it ain't blacklisted, you're obviously not going to use a cop car or Pegasus vehicles or the monster truck. Uh, I mean, some of these vehicles you might be able to get into online, but I'm telling you, you're not going to be able to store them. I mean, even if you get them into your garage, they're not going to save, I promise. You know what I mean? Uh, the tow truck, things like that, not going to happen. Um, well, let's just do my favorite here. I, I like the Ruiner, you know what I mean? That's one of my favorite cars. All right, now we'll just do the Ruiner. Now first, we just max all upgrade real fast. Yep, max them all out. Now, here's how they're putting the rims on, guys. Not too, uh, not too hard. You know what I'm saying? You can choose whatever rim you want right there. Here's your Benny's big spoke. You know what I mean? And then you can choose what kind of Benny's big spoke. Let's just where's the big dog spokes? Right there. You know what I'm saying? And after you get your wheels on your car, just like that, what you do is you save your file just like that you know what I'm saying now that file is right here saved up ready to go you know what I mean same with the outfits here outfits is a little different but same concept you gotta get it saved to your file and then get it into your save wizard uh, this thing's pretty cool now on your main you want to make sure it's set to multiplayer mail or it's not going to transfer into your director mode shortlist or recently played characters. Um, people on there saying it needs to be the beach bum. No, it, does. it needs to be the multiplayer mail for that to work. You know what I mean? The beach bum does not work. This is not a director mode glitch. This is an editor. You know what I mean? You have to put in the multiplayer mail. And then you can just add stuff to it you want to make sure you put the Christmas mask on it of course so you can get it to online 
you know what I mean now you can change up all your components right here you see we got some checkers uh, right there we got some crazy boots I already put this outfit on online a little bit ago um, outfit glitch is still working but same as the car what you do here is after you're done doing all whatever editing your outfit you just go here and you save your file just like that save was saved successfully okay now you can close this out you don't need it no more everything's been saved onto our quad six file that I got over here now what you do here is you open up your save wizard oh, I had to plug in my memory or my USB stick guy because I got to transfer it to the USB stick okay then you open your save wizard here okay alright double click Grand Theft Auto then left click once or right click once uh, current game saved go to advanced mode give it a second alrighty there we are now what we're gonna do is import our file into our our pulled file here so we're gonna take the quad six here and we're gonna put it in here All right, you just gotta import your file like so now all you gotta do here is is just if the cursor's on zero, you just want to switch it to zero. If it's a two, switch it to two. If it's, you know what I mean, you just want to make it the same number. It's going to prompt up a little alert. So I am pushing zero right now. It prompts up this little alert. Just ignore that, continue, and then just apply your save. Give it a second. And it will save right on up. modification successfully applied so when I go to load this on the my ps4 them cars and that outfit will be in my story mode you guys you know what I'm saying it's it's in there now all I gotta do here is you know I gotta close out let's take out my USB stick plug it in my ps4 upload and then when you get into your game you know what I'm saying it it's the game's gonna pick up on your auto save you know what I mean what you need to do is is the second you're loaded into your game to have the proper save is you have to load your save you know what I'm saying you get into your game go to load and load the save underneath the auto save not the auto save you know what I'm saying you want to load this save right here um, yeah I had I had fun figuring that one out the auto save and the regular save <laughs> trust me you want to keep it on the save file not the auto save file but this is how you're going to get Benny Wheels on the PS4. This is the updated, most current working version on how to do this. You know what I'm saying? Guys charge people for this stuff when you can be at home doing this yourself. I mean, it's not that hard to do, guys. You know what I mean? It's nothing special. Super duper easy. Um, save Wizard 60 bucks. You need the third-party uh, garage editor, Hazard. That's free. Um, you'll obviously need a Windows 10 machine. Um to push this thing um, but yeah that's that's how it is guys you know what I mean this is the updated version Charles proxy server does not work no more no other save editor works on GTA 5 whatsoever this one right here so all you guys commenting on them outdated videos here you go this is today's method this is how you do it anybody out there got an SP to MP hit me up five cars of your choice this is Moody 765 and hopefully it's helpful.